I think that the connectivity that we have today is phenomenal. It's absolutely the greatest that uh, we could possibly hope for, uh, particularly for instantaneous communication during a crisis and an emergency. It's also very good for keeping in touch with family when you need to. I think the tool itself is wonderful. It's the way we use it that I think uh, I take issue with. My name is George Bertel. I'm 16 years old and I am a sophomore in high school. I mean, I feel like I need communicative technology. Um, I mean, when it comes to anything, I, I feel almost lost when I don't have my cell phone with me or if I'm not talking with someone on Facebook or anything like that. I feel that it takes up a good portion of my life. And, you know, I, I don't know if I'm fine with that, but, you know, I have school going on, I'm, I'm at school half the day, and then I'm at home half the day, and I'm either doing homework or I'm on Facebook or I'm talking with friends. I'm always on my phone texting. I mean, right now I'm talking to my friend, um, just seeing what's up with him. We're going to play basketball later tonight. I mean, um, I feel that if I'm not talking to someone or if I'm not calling someone or anything like that, I, that I, I'm just not doing anything and I need to be doing something. Um, I'm an only child, so... I mean, I guess that factors into it a little bit. I don't have someone to bother or to pester or just to talk to even. So I talk to someone all day. I mean, I talk to my friends pretty much all day. We're making plans, just seeing what's up, um, latest rumors, if you will. Um, I just feel like I need my cell phone. When I was growing up, back in the mid-1900s, um, a long time ago, uh, the biggest gee whiz item was Dick Tracy, who was a detective who had a wrist radio. And we really thought that that was the coolest thing, and how could that kind of technology ever exist? And now look at us today. Look what we have. Look at the computing power that we have. And the connectivity really is great. And it, ultimately, it all gets back to using the tool properly. This is nothing more than another tool for communication. And as long as it's used properly and um, we can adapt our, um, our timing so that we're not using it to interrupt one another, I think we're going to be great. Getting away, being unconnected, is going to be probably the biggest uh, thing that people can do for themselves. And I think it's extremely valuable. And I think that it's a habit we all need to do better because we do feel that obligation to stay connected in case somebody wants us or needs us. But when you think about it, before all of this connectivity, we didn't have that. And we got along very, very well. And so I think it's just a matter of getting that balance back in our lives and uh, respecting ourselves. My name is Miles Robinson. I'm 15 years old and I'm a sophomore in high school. I've noticed that quite a few people in the Bay Area who I know don't seem to really have quite a lot of free time on their hands to think about their days. And I always make sure to, I always make it a point to give myself that free time and allow myself to think and reflect and process information from the day. An example of getting this free time is I'm in Boy Scouts and that uh, Boy Scouts isn't just learning how to build fires, but we do a, quite a lot of hiking and backpacking trips and such. And I really, I really enjoy being able to be out in nature and seeing all these beautiful sights alone when it's dead silent. Another good example, when I'm on these backpacking trips, there's no cell reception whatsoever. And there's absolutely no connection to the outside world. You, you can't, I mean, there's, a, there's an aspect of that where you can't get out 
if you're stuck or something goes wrong, but there's also the aspect of that where you're really free from the ties of those those connections that you need in in everyday everyday life here with cell phones with iPods you don't bring any of that and one example is a recent trip I went on is I, uh, I went to Mount Whitney and no cell I mean it was an eight-day trip and once you're in you can't get out but uh, and it's in the middle of the series, there's absolutely nothing there except trails and a couple of people. So the air is unbelievably crisp, it's beautiful, there's mountains, there's trees, dirt, rocks, everything, and nothing else, really. While technology is very helpful to everything that we do every day in our lives, it's crucial to be able to get out and let go of all the technology that we practically rely on and through doing that you are given the opportunity to look at all the things around you that you never had the opportunity to even notice and connect with yourself and through doing that at least in my my view I that's that's key to having a happy and successful life